So Ronald, I don't want to show this because I don't want people to think I'm being rude or taking down their number or something. The boys have the option during the week to take this into town. The bus that I didn't want to film. Um, 50 cents a ride. Isn't that awesome? So I've been working my butt off, y'all, and looking at all these scrubs that I chopped down last year that are all coming back that I need to get. I need my little saw. It's at the camp. My lilac is growing. It never looks like too healthy, though, does it? Well, it's a tough world out there. So if you're on Keith's Facebook, which, which some of you guys are, which is how I got some of you subscribers, so thank you very much for um, coming over and checking out the channel. Uh, you know that we had this mower at one of the jobs that he was doing before everything went to hell. Uh, and so we got this back from the man. And uh, it came to this dusty place instead of the wonderful place where it was working at the beautiful Higgins Lake place. But anyways, I wanted to show you what I did. Not with the push mower with no engine. The dog's been scratching and scratching. I just told my friend that last night who lives around the block, she said, my dog's just itching and itching. I said, mine are. And then last night they just scratched and scratched and scratched. I don't think it's fleas. Because we don't seem to have them. But I don't know what it is. But anyways, I got this. And it is self-propelled, thank goodness. And I did all of that, y'all. All of that. Plus, there's a trail. I guess I'll walk to the trail. Um, to the second, not the first pole there, but to the second pole. So, it took a while. And I just talked to the neighbor lady for a little while. And I... And I, uh, I can't remember their names, y'all. Oops. I'll ask Keith. Um, but I don't need to say that on here anyways. Very nice lady. And, uh, you know, everybody out in the country is out in the country for a reason. They're country folks, too. You don't think it when you see them if they drive newer cars or whatever. And they go off to your jobs. But everybody that lives in the country... Shore does live in the country for a reason. They want to be out in the country. They want to be where it's quiet and not crazy. And not have police coming up a neighbor's driveway. You know, it's... The things that we have put up with are pretty tough. But anyways, I'm out. And look, I, lost, I missed that spot. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to walk back down here and get it either. I can't believe I missed that. Because I worked my butt off. And I even went down the trail here. And <laughs> that's like bright as day. <laughs> Boop. A little 12 foot strip. But you know, it's not perfect. Because it was long in places. And little stems from the ferns and stuff. But I went. I didn't get the whole trail. But I got down to the turn and I think I did four passes or something and then I got on the other side of the driveway too so I feel better you know driving up in my driveway and seeing it mode I feel a lot better and I got the circle last night and I didn't get that perfect either Keith perfection is not my forte at all especially when it comes to mowing Apollo was a good companion though when he wasn't trying to get in the road Anyways, it's a beautiful day, y'all. And I thought things... What do you think lives down there? I would think snakes if I was in Texas. But bunnies, maybe? I think it's too small for a fox, isn't it? I don't know. I saw one ah, the other day when I was driving. It's a big old hole. I don't know if that's foxes or porcupines. or I, thought, I think porcupines roost in the trees. I don't know. I am a uh, very much a uh, novice naturer, naturer. So these trees are ones that are growing here. But if this tree is successful, these little puppies will go. Um, that's one that I dug up. It's a droopy one. 
and I thought I was digging up. Or I made Keith go help me dig him up. Or did I do it by myself? I can't remember. I think I got Keith to help me. He's my buddy. Anyways, so things were looking really good, and now things may not be looking really good. Um, it's up and down. It's dealing with the law, you know. It's There's all kinds of twists and turns, and anyways. All should be revealed sometime. There will be a sit down, and everything that we're going to tell you, we'll tell you. I'll have to write it all down. But we're going through some stuff. Um, not pleasant. But isn't grass freshly mowed pleasant? Doesn't that make you feel good? And I think I will treat myself to not having to cook dinner. Get the boys some of the $5 McDonald's stuff. Because I got to pick him up after the movie. And then in the morning, we'll go open the pool and see Keith. And spend the night. It's Friday. It'll be party party. It's going to be sunshiny there. I think we'll stay. I think we're going to a softball game too. Woo! I just don't. I'm not a sports girl, guys. I, I never have been. And I just need to remember to bring chairs. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to put this mower up. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I quit sweating. was thinking of jumping in the water somewhere. But who knows? I can do that tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. Kiss your loved ones. Take care. Be careful. <laughs> I hear it on the radio, 98.5 here in northern Michigan. And uh, one of the DJs always says, uh, take, care is, take care of yourself because, or watch out for yourself because the other people out there are not watching out for you. So there you go. Talk to you later.